America, land of the free, home of the brave, and apparently a secret treasure trove of hilarious history. We all know the big stories, the ones they put on monuments and turn into blockbuster movies. But tucked away behind those familiar tales are the weird, the wacky, and the downright unbelievable. It's like America's been hiding a stand-up routine under its founding documents this whole time. And trust me, this is one open mic night you don't want to miss. So, buckle up, history buffs, and comedy lovers, as we delve into the lesser-known, more laugh-out-loud side of the good old U.S. of A. Get ready to update your history textbooks, because things are about to get strange. And by strange, I mean hilarious. Let's be honest, who needs another dry lecture about the gold standard when you can hear about the time a president? Well, we'll get to that. So, sit back, relax, and prepare to laugh your way through history. Because history, as it turns out, is not just a series of dates and events. It's a comedy show waiting to be discovered. Speaking of presidents, you'd think running the most powerful country in the world would be a laugh a minute, right? Turns out even the Oval Office isn't immune to a good prank. Take William Howard Taft, for example. Big guy, even bigger bathtub. Seriously, it was custom made to fit his, shall we say, robust physique. But it wasn't just bathing that brought out Taft's inner goofball. He once snuck out of the White House to go fishing without telling anyone. The Secret Service was not amused. And then there's Calvin Coolidge, the man who looked like he found life itself a bit dull. Coolidge apparently found amusement in the most unexpected places, like his pet raccoon. He would walk it on a leash around the White House. Yes, a raccoon. Now, let's rewind a bit further to the birth of this fine nation, a time when powdered wigs were all the rage, and so were some seriously eccentric habits. We all know the Founding Fathers as stoic figures on dollar bills, but behind those serious stares were men who weren't afraid to embrace the odd. Take Benjamin Franklin, the original American multi-hyphenate. Inventor, diplomat, electricity enthusiast, and apparently, a fan of air baths. That's right. Old Ben liked to sit around naked in the name of good health. Hey, whatever floats your boat, or in this case, airs out your, well, you get the idea. And then there's John Adams, the second president, who had a bit of an unusual morning routine. He started each day by taking a dip in the Potomac River, fully clothed, because nothing says presidential like a soggy suit. Speaking of strange habits, let's dive into some of the more bizarre laws that are still on the books in these United States. You might find yourself scratching your head in disbelief. It seems like every state has a few head scratchers that make you wonder who thought these were necessary and why they haven't been repealed yet. For example, in Alabama, it's illegal to wear a fake mustache that causes laughter in church. Yes, you heard that right, a fake mustache. Now, I'm no legal expert, but that seems like a pretty difficult law to enforce. Imagine the courtroom drama over a mustache. How do you prove the mustache was the sole cause of the laughter? Was it the mustache, or was the sermon just particularly hilarious that day? Was it a particularly funny sermon that day? Or maybe the congregation just had a case of the giggles? These are the questions that keep me up at night. The intricacies of such laws are truly mind-boggling. Then there's Arizona, where it's illegal to hunt camels. Yes, camels. In Arizona. Camels in Arizona? That's news to me. Who knew the Grand Canyon state had a camel problem? And don't even get me started on the law in Arkansas that prohibits husbands from beating their wives with a stick wider than their thumb. The so-called rule of thumb. Apparently, domestic violence is only a problem if the stick is too thick. The logic behind these laws is baffling. America, you sure are a mixed bag of legislative oddities. From mustaches to camels, the laws are as diverse as the country itself. Section 5. 
Forgotten food fads, from jello molds to aspic. But it's not just the laws that are weird, folks. Let's talk about food, shall we? Specifically, the baffling food fads that once swept the nation. Remember when everything tasted like jello? No? Well, you're lucky. From savory salads suspended in gelatinous blobs to fruit cocktails drowning in aspic, the mid 20th century was a dark time for American cuisine. It seems like the goal was to see how many things could be encased in jiggly, flavorless goo. And don't even get me started on spam. Let's just say the culinary creativity of the past wasn't always pretty. Section 6. Fashion Faux Pas Historical Style Sins And what about the fashion? Oh, the fashion! History is full of questionable style choices, and America is no exception. Remember powdered wigs? Turns out those things were less about fashion and more about covering up hygiene issues. And don't even get me started on the bustle, a fashion trend that involved women literally strapping pillows to their backsides. I mean, comfort was clearly not a priority, but hey, at least they didn't have to worry about someone stealing their seat on the subway, because who wants to sit next to a walking sofa? Section 7. Bizarre Inventions, What Were They Thinking? Speaking of things that make you question humanity's judgment, let's talk about inventions. America, the land of innovation, is also the land of what were they thinking. From the downright dangerous to the just plain bizarre, history is littered with inventions that never quite took off. Take, for example, the mechanical horse, a contraption that promised to revolutionize transportation. It looked less like a horse and more like a bicycle with an identity crisis. And then there's the baby cage, a wire cage designed to be hung outside windows so city-dwelling infants could get some fresh air. Because what could possibly go wrong with suspending your child several stories above a busy street? Section 8. Pop Culture Oddities. Blast from the Past. But the weirdness doesn't stop there. Let's take a trip down memory lane and revisit some of America's most baffling pop culture moments. Remember Pet Rocks? Yes, you read that right. In the 1970s, people were lining up to buy rocks. Rocks! They came in little boxes like they were precious jewels. And the best part? They didn't eat, sleep, or poop on the rug. Maybe they were onto something. And then there were mood rings, those fashion accessories that claim to reveal your innermost emotions through the power of, well, temperature. Because nothing screams deep and complex individual like a piece of heat-sensitive jewelry. Section 9. Unsung Heroes, The Sidekicks of History. But amidst all the weirdness, let's not forget about the unsung heroes the sidekicks of American history. These are the people who may not have gotten their faces on money or their names on monuments, but they still played a vital role in shaping this country. Like Sybil Ludington, the teenage girl who rode twice as far as Paul Revere to warn colonists of approaching British troops. Where's her statue, I ask you? Or stagecoach Mary Fields, the first African-American woman to work as a star route mail carrier who fended off bandits and wild animals with a shotgun and a healthy dose of grit. These are the stories that deserve to be told and celebrated. Section 10. Conclusion. America's Punchline. So there you have it, folks. The untold, the unbelievable, and the downright hilarious side of American history. It's a history full of strange laws, questionable fashion choices, and presidents who really need to lay off the prank wars. But beneath all the weirdness, there's a certain charm to it all. It's a reminder that America, for all its grandeur and ambition, is also a nation built on the backs of ordinary people, some of whom just happen to have a really weird sense of humor. And just like a good stand-up routine, the best parts of history are often the ones that make you laugh, think, and maybe even spit out your drink a little. 
So the next time you're feeling down about the state of the world, just remember, at least you didn't live in a time when Jello salad was considered a culinary masterpiece. And who knows, maybe one day, our own quirks and oddities will be the punchlines of future generations. After all, history has a funny way of repeating itself, often with a twist of humor. So, let's embrace the laughter and the lessons it brings.